afternoon, good evening, wherever you domicile, wherever you you habit, depending on your time zone, I say hello, good day to you all. This evening, my broadcast is going to be brief. But before I go into the broadcast, I won't fail to let you understand that this is Blessed BFR Network and my name is Sir Bless. And the title of my broadcast this evening is this. genocide which was committed against the children of Biafra which they later call as Biafran civil war and the people that committed this genocide the murderers non-entities that committed this genocide against the children of Biafra in the name of hunger strike and that the ones today they refer as heroes and warlords. My question today is according to them, they told us when we are growing up that they were trying to bring us together with Nigeria. And that the process, more than 3 million children of Biafra was massacred and murdered. Their mothers massacred and murdered. The unborn children inside their stomach was cut up and brought out and key at the process. These are the things these evil men did. And today, somebody or somewhere celebrating them as heroes, celebrating them as warlord. This is one of the things that made me get upset. Now the question is, you told us that he murdered our children and our born children in the aspect of bringing us together with Nigeria. Ever since you've done did that, can you tell me what good thing that has come out from Nigeria, the so-called Nigeria? How come you have not been a good leader leading these good people? Even after you murdered so many children in the name of hunger strike to bring back us together with Nigeria, which we do not want to be. Can you tell me what good thing you've done all this Why I'm asking Gowan Obasanjo Buhari Atikabubaka all of you that plan Ikemachuku the plan that murder the innocent children of Biafra shall never go unpunished. You will die shameful death. That is a promise to you today because God in heaven almighty have decreed this. We can no longer tolerate any rubbish from anybody. And the British government who stood and watched 3 million Biafra massacre several years ago today you are again standing watching when things are going wrong and you've refused to say something even the pope himself i'm sorry you're a shameless man god in heaven who brought you to the world to create what the hell that created you i told you to go and serve me and tell my children that i am real but you are not doing that you are leading us astray you are leading us astray we can no longer take it. You 
people and we are there during the time of the war when no century of Biafra was we are massacred. You did not say anything. You can't come because you need the oil. And who told you oil is our life? Who told you oil is our life? We have human resources. Even though today we do not have, we are, maybe we do not have oil, we will thrive because we have the human resources. Channels have been doing better, even best if not, they do not have oil. A lot of countries, even here I'm living, they have been doing better, but they do not have oil. So what the hell are you talking about? You stole our resources. At the process of trying to steal our resources, he murdered our children for no reason. And today, this particular genocide has continued happening, and you keep calm. You refuse to say anything, especially you, Pope. I don't have to call your name because, in fact, I don't even give a damn. You guys have killed us a lot, and we have to stop from now. We did not commit any sin or any offense by telling you that we want to be our own alone. Assuming the people who left in the guy that was construction called Bega area is doing well, nobody will say he wants to leave the country. You guys came in our land several years ago, is it 1940 or whatever, or whatever. You came, you killed us, you forced us into being Nigeria without any sign of any document. And you even promised that after 2014, if anybody decides to leave, he should leave. It's so separate way. But today you are going against that particular way we are worse. You are going against it. That is exactly what we will not take. You celebrate go on. You celebrate your bastard job. You celebrate well, these are the real criminals we have in Nigeria. These are the criminals that murdered three million children years ago. And today they have started killing again. And nobody saying anything. All British government does every time is going around with an old school portfolio to every part of Eastern region. Any time things are trying to be better, what is going on? Why can't you people leave us alone to succeed the way we want? We are human beings, we are not cows. Anybody, any human being that born from a woman, being you Pope, being you British government, trying to kill our people, our children again. Which you did so years ago, you will die a shameful that God, God Almighty is with us and He will always stand by us. No weapon fortune against us shall prosper. That is my words today because in heaven knows that God has sent this project for us to fulfill this project and He sent His Son, the only begotten Son and the Carol, to fulfill this project and He will always stand by Him because God Almighty is with Him. Nobody can stop us because we are human beings and we have to live like human beings, not like a cow. Many of us finish university without a job. We left the country even when we are, we are trying to travel. We'll be asking a lot of questions. Bring this, bring that, bring this, bring that. Why somebody like no man will come out with a few documents and you'll be allowed to travel, give you a visa. Just because we fought the war. We did not fight any war. You brought war to our land and we tried to resist too. That is only what happened. At the process, when you see that we are winning, you went ahead and slaughtered our three million children. Children, even the ones in their mother's womb. And you think all oh, the blood of these children will allow you to thrive well, thrive well without any problem. They will be following you everywhere you go to. You are Basanjo, you go one claiming to be hero today. You are a nobody, you are just a coward who could not fight war. Because of that, he turned around and they starved innocent children to death just to be able to stop the war. Today we are not talking about war. What we are talking about is referendum. He said, no matter, even in Glan, Scotland, all those places, they don't referendum there. That's what we are asking for. Referendum. Nobody asking for war. All we're asking Queen of England to understand that we are human beings. And we will 
who have decided to live, to stay alive and flee. So why can't she give us that benefit of doubt? Why can't you uncreate the them country created, their forefathers created? Why can't you uncreate the them country, their forefathers created? Why are you frustrating us? Why are you making things difficult for us? We are human beings for Christ's sake. We have made the country better. Upon that, he do not recognize us. Lagos is beautiful today. It's because of Igbos. It's their tax money they are using to maintain Lagos. Not outside, the same thing. So why can't you give us seaport in our land? That is all we ask for. Seaport, international port. Good road. So that we'll be able to thrive in our businesses. In our knowledge, because we we'll have it. We are good in innovation, everything. So why can't you be? Why can't you let us be? Why would you always, because of all you crude oil every time, you be frustrated human being? Why? Why? We've begged you several times with peace that we want to leave this goddamn country. We cannot sink with you because you brought the evil that is ravaging this country today. You brought it. We did not bring it. You brought it. So why can't you leave us alone? Why can't you leave us alone? If it's because of the crude oil, you can always come and suck it. You are welcome. We are not even interested in it. But we cannot leave our land for you. We want to be alone so I can be able to have the opportunity to opportunity to do good things that we want. Not a country where we, we, we will be when we want to do anything good. Some people somewhere being greedy and selfish will not allow us because they want everything to be theirs. Just look at it, nothing the way they are pushing trying to push him around to go to the north. You want to forsake our land to make our land. Our land has become a refuge dump. A place looking like as if nobody's living there. Well, that place was the best land ever in this earth. The holy land of Almighty God, which we all know and believe in. But today you have made us zombies to the extent what our people do nowadays is coming to you collecting money just to be rich and forgetting the land that their land had gone astray that their land is no longer Igbo land we used to know that is why some set of Ohanese youth can come out and go to Buhari and talk trash just to collect favor we can no longer tolerate this we have here uh, servants everywhere in the Strad region, Igbo land, the Biafra land. People like a makeup, the son of a bitch. People like a uh, youth president. The bunker. These are the men you kept in Igbo land to get you secret, to frustrate our land for no reason. We have no security. We are people that are in open. We have nothing to hide. I'm warning you, people. From now on to upwards, you have to be very careful. Look, whatever I say here, I am entitled to it. And I will bear the consequences if we come. What this is not her speech, but this is the reality. This is what you did during the time of the war. The way your mother, the innocent children of Biafra, killed them, men them, raped their mothers. And today you are trying to start that genocide again by sending this set of Boko Haram soldiers into Eastern region. That will never happen. When it happen again, believe in me, even you British we will not understand what to go to have go wrong. We have suffered so much. We can no longer take it. You see that you love us or you hate us. We are good people. But because of you people nowadays, our businesses, the different places in Ghana and South Africa. Have been destroyed just because some set of people are paying them money, our own oil money, to forsake the boats everywhere there. If you made our land gold, 
Believe in me, nobody will, will be willing to leave the land except when you are going to Europe. You call yourself go on. And people are celebrating you, calling you a hero. A hero that won't be after a war. Who told you you won't be after a war? You did not. Even with the help of British and help of Russia, you could not win the war. We won the war. Only that we would not win British and Russia. That's it. And besides, you introduced hunger strike. That took away the life of our children, more than 3 million. I mean, some suffer from Kwashoko. That is why we consider ending the war. So, what makes you a hero? A hero that killed the children, that didn't know what the war is all about, or a hero that massacred innocent civilians trying to come, leave your land to come back to your land. I don't know what war is all about. That you know, the civilians that don't even know what's going on. Is it what makes you a hero? Man, you're a bullshit. We can no longer tolerate this. That is why today I'm telling the whole Nigerians that Go One is not a hero. Go One was a criminal, a genocider. He murdered innocent children, little children. We did not bring war to Nigeria. Well, Nigeria brought war to Biafra land. And we have to defend ourselves. At the process, when they saw that, that they were not winning, they decided to introduce hunger, strike. That same thing was the thing that brought no less than 3 million children down of Biafra. And these are the things that warranted us to consider stopping the war. And later the war was stopped. So today if you come out and say you are a hero, believe in me, if people around you, they should stone you because you are a fool. Go on. You are not a hero. You kill children. You kill children. No say children. You should have fought, fight soldiers like you. Not Stepping so low to kill innocent 3 million children of Biafra. And British, BBC, whatever they call them, we are busy broadcasting jazz and jargon. We are busy covering everything up. Even though when a young man was shouting, even put fire on his body, shouting that there's a lot of genocide and going on. In Biafra land, but nobody, uh, nobody was willing to listen to him. To that extent, he burned down himself to death. And today, you will tell me, you will send another same of Boko Haram soldiers to my land again to start the same thing they did so many years ago, the killing of some people for no reason. That will never happen again. Believe in me, God in heaven that created me and you. If you try killing or murdering any children again from Biafra land, believe in me, even your land will not be free. I can no longer, I no longer talk to all this because God in heaven, God Almighty, Chukwoka Biyama, is with us in this struggle and is we shall prevail. No matter amount of problem you give to us, no matter amount of killing, no matter what you do, you will never succeed. God, God is with us. God is with us. He's our God. He's God in heaven. The Almighty God we all serve. And we all will stand and He will stand by us at the process of restoring this blessed country called Biafra, which already existed so many years ago before the British government came and dis disorganized everything. Today the country they created is just a nonsense country, a trap, a tramp, 
nothing is moving nothing is going on well everything yaga yaga just like that gentleman i call him gentleman because he's a gentleman but people will see him as an arrogant man but true true he's not he's a gentleman because nigeria is truly yaga yaga so people and gentlemen and ladies i want you people to help me and ask go one a simple question go one you said you killed innocent children of biafra he slaughtered and murdered and raped people in biafra land just because he want to bring biafra with nigeria together the question the emphasis you brought them together go one what good have you done to the country called Nigeria? Can you tell us what good at all? Good thing at all you brought to the country called Nigeria? If not, suffer and smiling. Suffering and smiling. Just like a lot of use the same man, he's always in perfect peace. And that's why they killed him and claimed that he was he had sickness. But as all these things are lie, they killed him in prison. This man are evil. They are evil, they are evil and they are evil. Today, Pope has joined them to foster the children of Biafra. If not, why is he not talking? He was the one that gave us Bible when he came, when they came. He was the one that gave us Bible. But today, he's no longer in our side. What he does today is stand by some kangaroo people, some flying that have decided that they must wipe all Biafra's out. Every time you will be wearing white and whatever. Those that wear white are those that respect God and whatever it is that God created. Why should you be wearing white when you do not speak against the evil that is happening to the children of God? Even me, if really Pope, you are against children of God when you allow this killing to continue believing me, God in heaven will punish you because He created you and brought you to this world. You are not above Him. If really you are against the children of God that God created and the land of holy land that God created, believe in me, God in heaven will punish you. I don't have power over you, but God in heaven do. no longer suffer distance some people might think everything is going for fine but no you are just a slave in another man's country try maintaining your own country so that things will be okay tomorrow when another man says please leave my country just like they are doing in south africa and ghana you look up, start looking for another place to go as a slave why your country has been frustrated your people has been killed our poor members are dying every day by day job because of some kind of useless set of people who have evil who have an evil land that believe money is everything they say their own people for no reason just to have money in their pocket people like a maker of folk god will polish you all the whole innocent and ambrance that you you send to prison and they die in prison, their spirit will kill you and make offer. You are very lucky. It's not the place I'm coming from. You try that nonsense. You don't see problem. We big boys are very deadly. We don't talk too much. Mighty Lord God in heaven. I pray that you forgive the sins of our people, sins of our brothers and sisters of Biafra land. Forgive us all our sins, as who forgive those who sin against us. You are the God, the Father of every father, the God of all gods. You say we should call on you, that you will answer us, and you say we should know that you open. Mighty Lord God in heaven in battle. Come for a 
Sunday school because some evil men somewhere are trying to frustrate our land to destroy us for no reason. That's why we're calling on you because you made this project and sent your son to go and fulfill this project. So, Lord God in heaven, come and stand by him. Your son, Mazin, and the Kalah Madike once come and stand by him to progress in this struggle because the enemies are too much and they are becoming too much. They're becoming too much, Father God in heaven. The enemies are rising every day by day, morning and night. Trying a way to eliminate the young man, they've tried so many times. Just like they did in Nigeria, when he was in Nigeria, tried to eliminate him after they took him for different court of different court to different prison, to different prison, and they could not see anything sufficient to get. Because of that, they sent their Bukaram soldier to come and kill him. He has suffered a lot. He lost his mother, his father, because of this struggle. Mighty God in heaven. Unless I'm not your son, if I am your son today, I decree that Almighty God in heaven, that anybody that is against the Biafra shall go down by the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. The Lord is my shepherd. God in heaven, come for rescue, because we are your children, and we wish you to come and help us restore this country, Biafra. Everywhere in the world, we are there suffering. The making the hands and still trying to survive in life at the same time fighting for this struggle. Our brothers back home are they are dying for Biafra struggle just because they ask for a freedom. They don't go around with any knife. They don't have any gun. They don't have any bullet. They don't have any bomb. But the people that are going around with bomb, people like him, Fulani and men, people like Bukaram have been there, put it, they have been there. When they capture them, they put them in they put them into Nigerian force just to use them to frustrate the Biafra. God in heaven. If what they are doing is good, Lord God, let it be so. But if what they are doing is not good, God in heaven, may you wipe them away with fire. We can no longer tolerate this. This man, Nobasanjo, go one, Buhari, aka Jubri, Abakiaris, Atikus. This man are the men that the mother did not send three million children of Biafra for no reason because they said they want to bring us back together with Nigeria. But I'm still asking this question. Ever since they brought us back to Nigeria, what good is it that Nigeria have become? Can go on and these collaborators tell me what good thing they have brought to Nigeria ever since this country in Nigeria has started existing? We tried to endure during the time of the British because things are a little bit okay. But ever since the British left, so these people call themselves. Our cabas have been around, messing around with the colony and everything of this country. And when you say, well, they will try to put you in prison and send you to exile of no return. And you say that these people are brave men. You say that these people are heroes. And you say that these people are warlords. Some idiots, some entities, some bunkums, some them quest cabicos, and some them quest baggers are somewhere. Celebrating this son of a bitch in the name of Gawon. What makes you a hero? Gawon. You are nobody. You are a man. You are a collaborators, a man that was very, very afraid during the time of the Biafra War, which he called it. But Afras and Kosa is genocide. You are very, very afraid to the extent you have introduced. A hunger aspect of it to stop Biafrans from getting food from neighboring country by selling our land, giving our land free of charge to Cameroonians, which happens to Bakasi land today, by giving it to them so that they will be able to close the border. In that way, there will be no food entering Biafra land. And these are the things you did just to make sure you subdue Biafrans. At the process, 3 million children 
died. Two, three good then million children was dead at the process because of what you did. And today you are still moving around freely, traveling to England, traveling to Scotland, traveling to America without anybody holding you responsible for what you did, the genocide you committed during the time of the Biafran so-called war, as you call it. Can't you people see that there's something fishing going one supposed to be ending up in prison yard for killing of little two children, or Basanjo supposed to be ending up in prison yard for killing of innocent children and raping women, pregnant women. The same thing goes to Buhari. But these men have been moving around freely without anybody holding them responsible for what they committed, the genocide they committed against the children, the children of Biafra so many years ago. And the funniest part of it is that they are still doing it today. Now, there's anybody who wants to become rich, be a billionaire, you and be a politician. As far as Nigeria is concerned, just to steal this is what these people are doing. And this is what they have been doing. They have frustrated our life to the extent we don't even know what else to do. Some of us now move like zombies because these people called the save the cabals have destroyed our life to the extent we have nothing to do. Even though when we finish school, university, we will not see job. And while some of them are sitting in the government houses, in snatch houses, Eating thirty guide millionaire every month, which is not less than six hundred guide million in a year. And you call this man a human being? Why some people come out from university without a job? Even though we get a job, you pay him a part sum of seventy five guide them thousand naira. What's that? Is that going to help you take care of your mama? Is that, is that going to help you take care of your papa? Is that going to help you take care of your siblings? That is shown because they want you to remain dumb so that you will remain dumb and poor. They will impoverish you so that you will not have anyone to center. You want to talk when you look at yourself, how poor you are. You will keep her quiet. Apart from the ones who are chameleon, who are some to us, like a make for who go to them, take big money, amount of money, have all you everywhere just to hand over their people to their hand in a plot of gold. These men are the evil men. During the time of father, my father as a king, he was a good king. But today, my uncle is an evil king. But whatever it is, he will answer his call from God, not from me. Even men that they call evil men are the ones for threatening the life of the innocent people. Just see somebody like Adeboyo, a man who called himself a prophet, a pastor, a man who called himself a Jew. All he does every time is opening church and church and church in front of a business center. In fact, since this problem started happening, Adiboyo has never questioned the Nigerian government. Why are you doing this? Why are you frustrating the people? He's a Buhari friend. And um, even like that, people are still going to church. The funniest part of it is the Igbos are the ones going to that church. It looks as if they have a brain mentality which I can call. What, what do I call it? Uh, sleepwalk. These men are suffering. If you check out, you will see that some of them don't even give their mother out to a million in Christmas period. But believe me, they can be able to donate three million, four million, five million to a boy's church in the name of looking for blessings. My question here is, 
which type of blessing is as a devil you're going to give somebody a man who have never said anything ever since they started killing your people or do you think living in Lagos it cannot come to your land anymore or do you think today if your land is wiped out you will remain in Lagos as a slave or what that Lagos was built by somebody fine he was contributed in building Lagos Especially the Lakeys, the GRS, Lake Face 2, Lake Face, whatever else, what? He was contributed in building it. But the question is that your land? When something happened today, believe in me, even your house worth 500 million or whatever, I don't even think you can sell it up to 100 million because, it's just because, because you are forgotten that. Christians are you know bad land are less than the other you know, Muslims. They've forgotten that. You go into a devil church every day by day, spending your hard earned money. Who told you that it's miracle there? God bless you, have blessed you naturally. You know that sometimes we will make a big mistake to take time to, 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 to correct. Just like someone like me now. God in heaven have already blessed you. But the fact is that with the blessing, you have to be careful not to make a mistake like others. That way, your blessing will continue through it. Because when you make that mistake, before you can correct it again, it will take a, some time, a lot of time, in fact. So, going to the church, pretending that he's giving you any one guy that miracle is just a lie. That man has no miracle. That man is evil. In fact, he's not coming from God. If that man is coming from God, God condemns every evil thing. Tell me how many things that man have condemned ever since Dieter son of a bee, started forsaking this guy, them country, corner the area. What has that man condemned inside? Nothing. That to show that that at the boy is not a good pastor. What is opening is business center here and there, now and then. He is the collaborator of everything. He collaborates with Buhari, with Gowon, and with the so called Pope. All of them know about this problem going on today. For God will dispose all of them in the name of Father God in heaven. God will expose them. We can no longer tolerate this. Until the day go on, come out. Until the day go on, show himself up and tell us, the Nigerians, how. And where he became a warlord by killing innocent children of Biafra, three million of children of Biafra, then and then I will really know that Gowon is a hero and a warlord. But for now, Gowon is nothing. He's just a piece of shit. A piece of shit. A stinking son of a bitch. That is what Gowan is now. And that is what he will remain. Because he was a coward. He called Ojuku a coward. But no, Ojuku was not a coward. Gowan is the real coward here. Ojuku left because he doesn't want to stop the war and he don't want his people to die. And he left everything in the hand of the, uh, 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 the uh, Ephion, Flip Ephion. Which Ephion have to call up the war. A man who stood for the war for three good years fighting many evil spirits that we don't know see fighting Russia, fighting Britain including Nigeria and even though some of Biafran people were against him that should that man 
was a brave man and still a brave man even his death people like Zeke Nanda Zeke we are the saboteurs uh, they are the cowards just like the so called one when I saw what brokers Gowan gave he said Joko was a coward he thought he was not meant for the war who is Gowan? Gowan is not anybody Gowan was the coward here because he killed two children because he want to win a war so he was the coward and he still the coward until he show up publicly and tell the people of Nigeria why he killed innocent children of Biafra because he, he was fighting a war then and then I will know that the one is not a coward but for now he is a typical African Nigerian coward who use children to bargain for war just to be able to stop the war if you really have that power how come he was asking the world to stop after asking for the world to stop even after he has murdered a lot of children brothers and sisters whatever you come from if you are Kalaba you are Wafi you are Pitokwa you are Kwebom you are Ugocha, you are Kalabari, you are Ijo, wherever you come from, in Biafra, you are Ibu, Omombara, Omombara, that's the, that's the Omombara, it's not an Ambara, Omombara, or you are from uh, Omaha, whatever. Please rise now, stand and join this gentleman by name Martin and the Carlo Hamadike One, this Prince Servant himself like he always call himself but i see him as the supreme leader whether anybody like it or not we should rise and stand by him and fight for this problem before it get too late and anybody who stood up for we will learn to frustrate this struggle we should march him down god in heaven is with us and we we win at last whether the devil like it or not take it from us we win at last anybody sabotaging this struggle will never 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 go unpunished being you the pope be you are the boy be you the boy standard john Ibo governor people are shot engine of a devil mahi that criminal who have our land bring look at everything to our land when that color was saying it, people, he was lying that there's nothing like that. But today, everybody has seen it. That short man, I don't even think has a liberal man. I don't know who get back to that short man called Evo Mahi. These men have to be looked at and check them out because they are planning more evil. Our people should rise up. Rise up. Our brothers in Nigeria are rising. But everybody in diaspora should rise up and fight for this struggle because this is the only thing we can use to get our land organized, to make our infrastructure work to work better. This is the only way. We can no longer allow some people to destroy our life and our future, to determine how our life and future will be. No. We are the most one of the educated ones, if not the most educated. I'm not afraid to say it. But we are suffering after school university. After our mothers and fathers suffer so hard to train us university, when we come out from university, there will be no job waiting for us. That are some idiot that call himself from a ruling party. Even with no qualification, he'll get a job. We will no longer tolerate it. Biafra is our home, our blessed home. They have killed our precious mother and our precious father, who stood by all during the time of all the whole problems, who stood by Biafra, who bore that son 
that precious son that say no Biafra can never suffer they will keep them at the process of trying to restore Biafra but their death will not be in vain every evil man that have hands of his death and her death will suffer it whether they like it or not the time shall come they will ask themselves had I know and all those Biafra men that is some of them are police some of them are soldiers some of them are this please stop frustrating your people we know you are doing your job but if you are sent to go and do your job do it in a gentle way and start going there stop going there to kill your people for no reason look at how many people you murdered in, in, in Anambra state because you want to go arrest one person I don't know what you are talking about because the king have already come out and other people to say that those men, those guys are not a problem they are masquerade people two masquerade group but he put the problem in, in a cup you are yeah, useless and make up for that's idiot if they have why you are make up for on your koga is uzu now as ish my koji mwane I book you make up for ah 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 I can't worry and the memory bunker. I worry. People like us, I'm on our watch. Can't worry and the memory bunker. The real people. Dara. Please, gentlemen, ladies of Biafra. I'm going to come to the end of this broadcast. And please, if you have anything to say, you can come to the comment section. God has a, heaven is with you. Send time press the notification button bell so that we will notify you you will not miss our news some other time our broadcast we love you all and before we leave we have to pray please close your eyes let's pray lord god in heaven everlasting father the god of my team battle the god that is the god capital g the God of all gods, the God of all human beings that brought us to this world to stay. You created our land and put us in it. And you say in your book that anybody that conquered any land should stay there. But after some time, have to leave the land and go back to where you come from. Please, God in heaven, tell the flani to leave our land for us. Tell Nigeria to leave our land for us. We need it. Almighty Lord. He said we should call that you will answer. He said we should know that you will open. We have called God in heaven. And we pray that you open this door for us. Because you are our God. You are everything. Lord God in heaven. Protect us and be with us now forevermore. Before I go, this is my song that is going to come out soon. Listen. Hey, hey, hey. I salute you, bonjour. I salute you, bonjour. Moi salut